making process, everything took into cognizance the voice of both the father of the community and the mother of the community. African people, through the use of the drum and various other instruments, developed a way by which they could communicate one with the other. They developed and gave birth to what we now call music. They gave birth to dance through which they communicated one with the other. Ama Africa la made sure that they had this ordered community and made sure that all the time there was tranquility as much as could be there within the African community. you all, let's go to the royal homestead and go out and feast. Oh, yeah. There is everything for you. There is meat. There is beer. There is everything for you.
within Africa. Uh oh. Was it a man? Was it a beast? Was it the devil incarnate? As this thing appeared, the African people noticed that there was something different. As it came closer and closer to the people, they noticed that it came closer. It seemed to be in the shape of man. It seemed to be in the shape of the human being. And some of the kings invited this strange being into the community and treated this strange being as just but another visitor, as just but another guest into the royal household. The king, just as they would have done to entertain any other guest, entertained the stranger who supped with the community. <laughs> of Africa, Love those me. people who had trusted and believed in this guest. Those Africans who had lost their loved ones, who had been captured by the stranger, ran up the shore, ran down the shore, searching, looking, hoping beyond hope that they would trace the tracks of their fellow Africans who had been taken into captivity. As much as they searched, as much as they ran up and down, there was no hope for these Africans. There was just nothing there. There was no one to be seen. These big ships that had taken their fellow brothers and sisters, where were they? With time though, 
Another ship has seen approaching oh, oh, oh. Africa. More ships approaching <laughs> Africa. <laughs> this Get time, them to me, I'll deal with them. They, they seem like they were friendly people. They are carrying all sorts of goods. And the kings, some of them, as though they hadn't learned from the first time. Why, Again, what? receive them back into the community. Oh, receive them back into the land of Africa and treated them again as friends of the community. The kings, joyful to receive the various trinkets that had been brought along by these people, gave them again that position of honor within the community. The kings were given mirrors. They were given various pieces of material, various pieces of cloth. And in the process, they were given necklaces, bracelets, anklets. Again, the stranger brought out a book, which they called the Bible, and introduced a new concept of God to the African. And introduced a God whom these Africans could not relate to as the true God. Some of these kings, selling their souls, connived with these people, and started selling their own kind mm. into slavery. Mm. Started selling their own I'm kind kidding. because they'd become selfish. who again had allowed themselves to be tricked by these kings who had connived with these people and from the enslaving forces by these same people. They themselves found that they were as dispensable as those people they had considered as dispensable goods in exchange for trinkets. These African people had been stolen into slavery, were taken and made to work from before sun up to after sundown on plantations. Instead of these millions of Africans working to develop the continent of Africa, they were developing someone else's land. For whose benefit were these Africans working? Where are these niggas? Hey, you niggas! Come to work, man! Come on! Work! Work! Come on, move, 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 move! Yes! Come on! Yes! Come on! Hey, you niggas! Hey, you niggas! Come to work! Come on! Come on! There is no time for washing your face, you African woman! Come! I want to find you people working, you animals. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs>
funny, y'all. They said that. I wish we were. I'm not your brother. I told you to act. Come on, go on. Come on, stand up, girl. Woman. I just told you to die now. Come on. When Shaba won me, the joy of the few been the suffering of the majority. Them white men make us till the land for their benefit. And in return, they tell us that we came from jungles. They tell us what beasts, what baboons. If I may pose a question, does my pigmentation give any being the right to question my existence? Or, oh, talking about some sensitive issues, who are just unjustly, who are just unjustly charged and punished for crimes without evidence, except skin color. Dear Lord, well as women, we don't have the right to say yes or no. We're sexually harassed. Is that humanity? Oh God, I know one day, somehow, somewhere, we'll rise. There is a true God somewhere. Ah, come on, yo. Come on, come on. If you need to bully us like this, if you need to touch us like this, call us names, call us names, niggas. One day we shall rise, all the slaves on this land. We shall fight, we shall free ourselves from this bondage. We, we shall fight. All the, all the slaves on this land. We. <coughs> Oh, I'm 
they could, those Africans who had reached the foreign shores fought for their emancipation and in some way managed to avenge the death of their brothers and sisters, those who had perished in the Middle Passage, those millions who today have never been accounted for. Mm. But then, again, with the slavery having been abolished, mm. as if not enough, this stranger came back to the land of Africa, this time to enslave the African people on their very own land, mm. this time to take all that mattered from the African heart and soul, Close. making these African people work the land, again not for the benefit of Africa, but for the so-called mother country. Whose mother country we ask? Making African people go deep down into the bowels of the earth, digging for gold, mm -hmm. digging for copper, digging for various minerals for whose benefit. How can you work under such conditions? People are not paid anything. You know, we have been working for this man so long, man. We have long hours, you know. We lift our wives. We lift our families. We start and sing it. We see sa em koti. We start and sing it. We see sa em koti. Si sevenze luba ntina. Em koti. Oya pe. Sevenze luba ntina. Sevenze koti. Oya pe. We start and sing it. Sevenze koti. Oya pe. We start and sing it. Sevenze koti. Oya pe. Sevenze koti. Oya pe. Sevenze koti. Oya <laughs> fi Down here. This way. What are you doing? This is a gold mine. No. This is not a homestead. No, but still part of the compressed oil. This is a thriller. This is business. Money. Bugs. This is US dollar. Work, man. Uh -uh. Work. I'm going to inspect level two. He's a US they work better than you do. Mm. I want to see you working. Come on. Pagati. That's all you got. Work. Oh, 
horses. <laughs> Let's get my work done. Excuse me, boss. Yes? But I can't work to the power. I'm hungry, no. Oh, no, no. Excuse me, boss. I am hungry. What, man? <laughs> you want food? I you want it? Work, work, damn, work. But the boss. Yes? How can you work under such conditions without any energy? Look uh, at the drill. It's too hard. Yeah, the what you are, look at, can't you see what you are? You are an animal. Mm. I am better than but you. My you can work. 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 I am not a black man. I dine with the boss. I get money. I make money. I have money. You have no money. You work! But my brother, you work! You are a fellow African. How can you do this to your brother? I have a miserable, confused friend of his brother. You work! Yeah, yes. Ah, gentlemen. Ah, yeah. It becomes too much. Too much of it becomes monotonous. Yeah. It's monotonous. So what are we going to do? We just say too much because monotonous, monotonous, too much. What are we going to do? Right, yes. I've got a solution. Huh? The thing is, uh -huh. for us to be better people, yeah. to be civilized, is we're already civilized. Let us down these tools in and go to the bush and join our fellow Africans. How do you find the party yes, party? yes, that's right. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's Let us down the tools and go. Let's get moving. Yes. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. 
The whole continent was red with the blood of its own children. The whole continent assumed a color it had never assumed before, simply to liberate the African people who had been enslaved on their motherland. Fighting for what, my Africa? Why was so much blood shed, my Africa? Why did all these souls have to be laid down, my Africa? Whilst today, again we're inviting the stranger back to Africa. Again we are compromising our own freedom, my Africa. Calling them tourists, calling them investors, calling them visitors, calling them immigrants. All sorts of beautiful and sweet sounding words. Those are the descriptions we're using, my Africa. Whilst we discriminate against each other, whilst there is xenophobia right through the continent of Africa, calling ourselves illegal immigrants, calling ourselves, I'm a foreigner. How can you be a foreigner in an African country, being an African yourself? Oh, then what's that, man? What? What's up with this one now? <laughs> you know these people are troublesome. These people are civilian. They take our jobs, wives, husbands, and everything, man. What's up? We're forgetting our accommodation. Check, it's just overcrowding us. Uh, what? Up, what? Man? What? Peru! Kutala kwa kunganje, Afriki ya kukuga Kwa kukonutanto, hezeni le Afrika Kutala kwa kunganje, Afriki ya kukuga Kwa kukonutanto, hezeni le Afrika Kutala kwa kunganje, Afriki ya kukuga Kwa kukonutanto, hezeni le Afrika Kutala kwa kunganje, Afriki ya kukuga Wow, 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 wow
my Africa, beautiful Africans, today, let's take this message, we are one race, we are one race, my Africa, one race, that's who we are, that's who we've always been, originating from the same ancestors, my Africa, how can we disgrace our ancestors like that, they had no choice, 
we have a choice today. Are we going to stand together or will continue fighting each other? Are we going to strengthen those aspects that unite us or will continue to strengthen those aspects that divide us? The choice is yours in Africa. Today, the choice is yours in Africa. One race. It is the one and only race. It is the one and only race. It is the one and only race. this colonial mentality prevailing within our people. It is important for us to fight against this slave mentality prevailing within our people. Now Africa, we were once great people. We are originators of everything. Civilization, education, everything. We were misfed. For no one we've been mistaught to believe that we African people we are backward. To believe that people, all the black people of the world, we are uncivilized. We are backward. We are simple-minded in my Africa. It is important for us to unite as a race. Let us not be divided by the differences that the white men imposed on us. The political differences. The political differences. International boundaries. The so-called tribal differences in Africa. We, children of the School of African Awareness, are inviting everybody, all African people, to come and join us and preserve our pride. To come and join us and fight against this colonial mentality that is just killing us. Our people are just dying, not knowing who they are, not knowing who they are. My my brother. Brother. Do you mean we can also join the School of African Awareness? My sister, my brother, the time has come for us, the black people, to inspire one another to a closer, a closer kinship, to a closer love of self, because it is due to this love of self that we shall promote our cultural identity. Then we join it and do what? My brother, my sister, it is important for us to unite all the black people of the world, the global African family, and stand as one. So do you mean we are also invited to join the organization? Everybody, my brother, come along, join us. Oh, salu landela, salu landela, salu landela, salu landela, salu landela, salu
this point, um, I think our sister Jordan and sister Helena wanted to say something, and sister JT as well, and then we'll just open up a discussion. We're basically taking the format that we always take when we perform. We believe that theatre is a tool by which to educate, not to entertain. And we are not out to just entertain anyone, but we want to educate as many as we can. So I'd like to take this time and just open it up um, after our sisters have said what they have to say, and then we can have a free open discussion with you. that we wanted to share. I mean, we brought books and um, poems to share and stories, and there's so much that we have done being Africans in America, so many things. But we've learned who we are, sort of as white people have taught us, I would say. Very like, and then we went from this period to this period, and then we did this. We became that. and. We'll do better just talking from our hearts about our work. I think, right? About our experience. Our experience and the poems. So, I, we copied some. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's no, it's it's copied in there. I I almost want to read Kelly Cohen's piece because you almost want to. You are going. <laughs> <laughs> Part of me is like, ah, oh, please, you know, <laughs> after that. But um, I don't want to talk about it the way we were going to talk about it, but I do want to say that there's a serious negotiation of our Africanness. And you must understand that uh, although we are not here, there are only a very few of us who are here or come here return to return. Um, we are still in the process of negotiating our Africanness. And that may seem strange to a black people, for many of us, to negotiate your blackness, you know, as if it were something you could remove or move around. But it's, it's not, but the fact is we have been moved around and changed and altered and interrupted uh, as a continental people. And so, um, a lot of our work, like the education you just gave us, um, a lot of our work describes that negotiation. And it, it um, talks about the difficulty in dealing with 
what it means to be without language, without land, without power. Um, we have a lot of uh, things in common, as I was listening to Sabino's uh, narration, narration education. <laughs> um, I thought to myself, um, I have a book that talks about, the first one that I found, it talks about a comparative look at um, liberation for black people from South Africa and the U.S. and how the movements are like this. And um, you th we think of them still separately, but those things, that's a part of that African negotiation of identity. Negotiating it here, in, a, in the U.S., black British, black Caribbean, black Brazilians, black Cubans, you know, all over. And um, so, so we're not doing anything very, very different, but it's just a particular way that it comes across because we are in a nation like the United States. Um, yes. <laughs> in a colonial nation. <laughs> because we don't even talk about American history when we're taught it, because um, we're not taught our history. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. But American history, as we're taught it, does not even use the same words to describe what we do to other people that we even describe other people doing to other people. Um, I noticed that you said so-called tribalism. Yeah. <laughs> Which brought to my mind the way that we describe things, and we had talked about it as a group before, about how, you know, if it's people of color, it's a revolt. Mm. It's a rebellion. If it's colonizing, you know, it's a battle. It's a war. The, even the negotiation of those words bring forth different images in our minds and make us think differently of ourselves in similar circumstances. So, um... <laughs> um I think um, just to add something on what you're saying, the, particularly the use of words, it reminds me of what um, Marcus Garvey said, that um, if I steal food because I'm hungry, I'm called a criminal. But for the person who goes across the seas and steals people's land, and steals people, they're called pioneers, they're called explorers, they're called wh whatever, words can be found. Where, yeah. <laughs> Whereas with us, the language that is used, is such that um, it alienates us from who we are and we tend to center our understanding of ourselves around that language. So it takes us to a point where we have to begin to redefine issues, where we have to formulate our own vocabulary that speaks to who exactly we are and how we should be relating one to the other. I, I just thought about something that maybe for us we could actually sing. That I don't know if we all know the words to the national black anthem. That's mm -hmm. a nice could be a place to start. Do we all know enough of the words? <laughs> no, unfortunately. We would have to teach you. Do you? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I could. Uh, I could sing some. I think it might be in here. I sing it all the time. Mm -hmm. For my children. So. I I eyes. Oh, I forgot I have a So we should give the words. I mean, let's see. Do you have them? They should be. Yeah, here we go. It's in here. This book has everything. Okay. <laughs> Everyone nice. take your hymnal and turn to page. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> It's actually a song that was written James Weldon. by James Weldon Johnson. Um, see, what's happened is, as Africans, we have to yeah, you do this. <laughs> we have to reinvent ourselves almost. We gather what we can um, from lack of knowledge and what we find in what is media, basically. 
Um, because until you step foot on Africa, you cannot know <laughs> Africa. Um, most of us can attest to the fact that when we got here, it's if you expect expected nothing, it's still not what you expected. <laughs> if you expected, you know, anything, it's still not what you expected <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. So um, a lot of you know, with uh, what I was talking about, that negotiation, a lot of African Americans um, discuss that in song, in literature, and a way of connecting. Um, James Weldon Johnson wrote this piece um, called Lift Every Voice and Sing. And it's a way of uniting African um, Africans in America with, um, and with Africans all over, because it's a common situation, circumstances, common circumstances. Um, I, oh, I found it. I was trying to okay. see if there was anything that it said specifically. The, I mean, the song basically says, uh, the refrain, lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Till ring with the harmonies, ring with the harmonies of liberty. And Not we can, um, let's rise. sing, yes, High we can lose. sing it. It's better when Do we sing it. To sing it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. <coughs> I'll Stand leave, but you have to help us no, out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it goes lift every voice and sing. Till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Of let, liberty. Let, let our, our rejoicing, rejoicing rise. High as the listening skies. Let it resound. Loud, 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 loud as the rolling sea. sea. Okay, and then sing a song full of the faith, faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day, day begun, let us march on till victory is won. We can sing that. Okay. Right. We should have copied that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can remember that one. Right. So lift every voice. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Why? Okay, let me get the one, two, one first. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so one, two, 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 one, you know, it's because I'm throwing off because you start here. Yeah, she she lifts the left foot up like, before she yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 One, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, Yeah, she's not counting that count. Uncoordinated. Yeah. 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 She's not counting when she yeah. left the yeah. beat. And your hands, you move. What happened? One, two, one, one. One, two, one. One, two, one. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I lose all coordination when I'm being taught. One. And you move forward. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, then you have to tell so you go one, two. You getting this rise? Mm -hmm. yeah. We're gonna one, watch the tape, huh? Rise, break it out, break it out. One, two. We got the tape, rise. Can I join the clip? Oh, it's your turn. Okay, okay. So when you turn, you put your own. Right? Yeah. Half turn. Half turn. Are you gonna try it? Okay. I'm gonna see it. Okay.
Oh, do you want to tape it? I'll tape it. Okay. I think I got it. Let's start with you. And then two times. And then we'll go forward and then we'll go forward. So like one, two, one, that's one. I give up. One, two, then forward. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, trying to teach them the tap? Oh yeah, I tried to teach them the right there with it. Like, God, somebody told me yesterday, somebody African <laughs> told you what? Don't you tell me that you know. Said that? Uh, <laughs> Because once you win, you have to be We use it from the waist yes, down. I have them. She <laughs> has them, all right. You have them, so you are born with them. Okay. <laughs> You know. Oh, 
Dude, I'm yeah, you I up. think this counts. We have to maintain it. You know what? When she steps <laughs> Oh, no. Because that's the white part of us. I am not black. I am not white. I am very black. I am black. I am black in general. I am black in we just have to do it, you have to get it in your body. Okay. Forget about the consistent count. All you have to do is listen to the drum. I am listening to the drum, don't you? There you go. Just listen to the drum. On this side. Come watch on this side. Come watch on this side. Back there. When we go back in the summer, I want to get the yeah. house, I want to go back in the summer. Yeah. Because one, two, one, 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 okay, one, two, one, one. And then we start on the right? Yes. Okay. One, two, one, one, two, one. Okay. I got you. I need to go back in. I tried to tell somebody that that's the African guess dance doesn't have seven, eight. Uh -huh. It doesn't. That's what it. Okay, let's do whether it's five or four or three, two, one. It's a six. Let's start again. Let's start again. Let's start again.
Tighter shots, like if I turned over this way and move towards the brothers and I want a close up, I push it to the T. That means for tight. Okay. See how close it is? See how close? And then if I want to back up and back up this way, bring it to the W and it gives you a wider shot. So you can go from person to person. And this right here kind of shows you who's in the picture and who's not. So like if I wanted to get just them in, I can just turn it like that. If I want to get the drummer and everybody else in, turn it like this. And then I can back up more too if I want to get more people in. And then over here, that's just the power button. Right there, turns it on and off. And then after we finish filming, we can bring this down and then we can rewind it and see how it looks. Okay, this is the 
around and interview you. What's your name, my brother? Uh, what's the most? All right. And what's the name of the school you attend? Sorry? What's the name of the school you attend? Um, Bobo My School. All right. And you live here in Zimbabwe? Yes, I do. What's the name of your city? Uh, Blawayo. All right. And how old are you? I'm 18. 18? And what would you like to do with your life? Well, I was introduced to art about two years ago. Okay. And I would like to continue with that because I like exposing my talents. All right. All right. So you like to sing? You like to dance? Yeah. Anything else you like to do? Well, listening to the radio, of course. The radio? So you like music? Yeah. You like music in America? Yeah. What are some of the artists you like? Oh. Uh, uh, Boys to Men, mm -hmm. Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, and Cisco. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, we love your country. Okay. We've been learning a lot, and um, we're definitely going to come back. We're glad we met you. Okay. Uh, we also cleared your Yes. Yeah. And we'll be keeping in touch. Would you? Would you like an, uh, uh, a pen pal to write to you from yeah, from the states? I would. I would. Okay. I'd love you. We'll make sure we hook someone up with you. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Did you get that? Do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you get a couple of me with the brothers? Mm -hmm. I did. I got you. Did you get it when I finally learned it? I think so. Okay. You want to do it again? Yeah, you might. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. This is Earl. Earl's done picked up the step. Okay, he's bona fide now. He put some butter, butter, body butter on his elbows, though. Oh. Bridget said he needs some body butter on his elbows, but that's all right. He can still dance. We're going to do a close up. Okay, close up. Okay, Earl, we're doing a close up on you. Look at that form and the brother's GQ too. GQ in the country. GQ in the country. Watch out now, watch out. Ooh, ooh. Go! Bad boy! So now, Earl, these are your teachers, right? And what's your name? Romeo. And what's your name? Leslie. All right. And you guys just taught Earl this step, right? Yeah. Well, tell him the name again so I can, the name of the dance. No, no, no. This dance is called Nyaolam. It was meant to, for the wedding ceremony, to celebrate. Oh, yeah. for the wedding ceremony. Yeah. When people celebrate, you know, this was meant to celebrate. Great. Yeah. So that's how we call it Nyaolam. Okay. And did it take Earl long to learn it? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A little bit. Yeah. But he got it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Great teachers. Yeah. Great yeah. teachers. Yeah. 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 They're going to teach me something else. Okay. They're going to teach Earl something else. All right. So, so you can go away for a while. Okay. We're going to go away and come back. And then when he gets it, we're going to film him again. All right. Watch the white. This song is. I don't know. 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 I don't know.
going into an right. African dance class, you look up and everybody from the shoe. You're doing some jumpers around, I like it. <laughs> yeah, he was doing some taking an African dance pressure. You know, just showing, brother. You know, I have to take a break from the brothers. I'm like, I can't breathe. I can't breathe.
something that is African and they are African anyway. If they can do it, then it means they are African. Right. So we are at the Tamba Valley right now with um, the function that is going to be here. I'm told the guys are going to be giving a big present to this food. We are at Ntaba Zinduna. That's where our king, when he came from South Africa, passed by. You know, I'm told he disappeared at one of the mountains. Down there is it? There's a mountain there. Right. Then, there's a mountain down there. It's a mountainous place anyway. And there's a history. I'm going to hear about it from Chief Kaisan Diweni, who is the one who's left as the custodian of the culture. How? Because South Africa, you're going to be in South Africa later. South Africa and Zimbabwe are one. So people have migrated from South Africa and they've come down here. The language has changed fine, but it's the same. So some of our brothers migrated to America. They are there. They are our brothers. We migrated here from South Africa. We are here. We're as good as the African Americans. Right. I guess for now, I can say Hey, we're on the camera. This is Noel, right? Yeah. He's the drummer. He's the one that's been playing, giving us all the wonderful beats and everything. He has a lot of talent. Anything you want to say for the camera? Yeah. Hi, everybody in America. I'm Noel. I can play drums. And I hope I'll teach you. Maybe. Yeah, now. Maybe. Maybe he'll teach me, or maybe I'll just try to get everybody on camera. We'll have to wait and see. But whatever we learn, we know it's going to be rich because the African culture is rich. We're being reattached to the motherland, the land that we were birthed from. And it feels good. It feels good to be back to the motherland, to be free, and just to be one with our brothers and our sisters. So we're going to learn some more, and we'll be back at you. My brother's going to continue videotaping for us. We're going to do another interview. We're coming over to our African brothers here and we're going to hear from them. We already know Brother Reggie, but we want hey! We don't hear from our other brothers. Yeah, yes. yeah. How you doing? Hey, hey, hey. This is a basic conversation that we're going to be doing in a traditional language to the land here. Matabella North. Yeah, huh? Matabella North. Yes, yes. These are my brothers here, Crispin and Talent. Okay? Yeah, that's their real name. And so we're going to have a conversation here. We're talking Debele. Debele. Okay. Salbonai. Sikon. Ninja. Banjanabai. Abanjanabai. Aban. Yes. Yes. I know how to say in the morning, I know how to say. Leave it Kunjan. Vukil. Vukil. That's the morning. Vukil. Yeah. I'm asking. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's like. Salibonami is saying hello. Hello. If you need it, good morning. Can I say Yebo? Yebo. 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 So, so you, you will teach you, you will show you our dances. Me and Britain. Yeah, we're gonna show you some dances right now. Watch out. So come on. All right. Put my Microsoft T-shirt on. Okay. Okay. Let's do the clap. One, two, yeah, one, yeah. One, two, yeah, one, yeah. 
What do you call those dances? It's chigicha. It's called It's chigicha. 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 It's you are performing with the new kids. It's your audience. You are the audience. Let's go. Remember, these brothers are 26. 26? 26. Yeah. I just want I gotta declare. Let it be known that I'm 40 years old. Dancing with the. How old are you? 16? 16. 16 and 19. Take note. Alright? Okay. 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 Show you want you to show them. I'll show, I'll show them, huh? Yeah, show okay. All right. First, a real simple. Okay. I don't know about that. I'll watch you again. Ha! Good. Now we're gonna do something else. Watch. All right. Here we go. Watch. Okay? See? I'm getting it. Okay. Getting Let's try it again. Okay? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ankle. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, let me show you the whole thing, okay? Let me show you. Uh, yeah, but a little bit more advanced. 
will give us strength till we reach the other side. Oh, so soon.